Hey friends, so I just finished up reviewing the backpack that I wore for my overnight trip with Nora. Uh, I thought I'd take some time to do a review on the pack that she was wearing on our trip. So before I get into this, disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. Nora is still growing. She's very young. So obviously I did not load this pack up. I look out for her best interest with everything. Um, she's, she's my little girl. So I would never do anything that I thought was knowingly doing her harm. So her pack looks pretty puffy in the, the trip video, but that's because she's got like her water bowl and her freeze dried food, which weighs just about nothing, but is super puffy in the Ziploc bag. So before anybody, you know, starts lecturing me about my dog, which even after the disclaimer, I know somebody will, uh, just know that Nora is not carrying a hefty load of anything. She's carrying her food and her water bowl and maybe some bags to clean up her, her waste. Now that that's over, let's actually talk about the backpack. So first, I want to talk about the harness. Unclipping my saddlebags. All right, we've got just our harness here. So what I really like about this is it wraps all the way around the dog and also has this little tummy strap <laughs> that goes underneath uh, her belly. So the material on the inside of the harness um, is a mesh and there seems to be like a foam with channels underneath. And uh, when we stopped to take breaks, you know, just kind of checked up on her, there wasn't much sweat building up. So I think this really helped with airflow. The material in general, even on the outside, is just a very breathable and lightweight material, but also super durable. So I really liked that about it. It has a handle on the back and also this ring. So obviously you'd attach a leash here. You can also use this D-ring in the front to attach a leash or, you know, maybe even your dog's tag to it. But so I like this handle because uh, if I need to give Nora a little help up with something she can't quite get over. So that's really helpful, especially having a bigger, heavier dog. This handle is pretty durable and uh, Nora has even like, uh, stepped over somewhere where I'm not quite comfortable with and I've kind of like grabbed her and you know moved her over to where I want her to be mom instincts kicking in but yeah so that's just the basic rundown of the harness and um, last mention about material is this little uh, strap that goes around the belly same breathable mesh with like those foam channels so now let's talk about the saddlebags so it clips on in four places, actually six places. There's two extra little clips uh, I'll get to in a second, but you just clip it on to the four corners of your harness. Ta-da! And it has this cutout hole. You can still access your loop on the harness and your place to attach the leash. So that's really awesome. This opening gives you access to those features that are pretty helpful. These saddlebags are so roomy like there's just there's so much capacity here so you've got your main compartment which is pretty big on the lid of your main compartment is this tiny compartment and uh i stuck a couple treats or uh cookies doggy cookies in there for nora so when she was you know needing a little pick me up just kind of unzip her pack and give her a cookie but uh, inside this main compartment on this side is another pocket. So I don't know, I'm not gonna give you an example for every possible use, but if you need to separate some things in the main saddlebag compartment, you have that option. On the outside of the saddlebag compartment here, you've got another, another pocket. So yeah, a total you've got one, two, three, four pockets on just one saddlebag. So there's a lot of different ways to utilize the space and separate things uh, however you choose. You've also got this cord here that is adjustable 
and uh, I'm sure you could hook something with a carabiner onto the outside for them to carry just in case you run out of, of space on the inside. But I'm going to show you the other saddlebag just because there's a small difference. So you do have the lid pocket. You do have the very front pocket. But inside of this side of the saddlebag, you have some mesh pockets. So no zip, just two um, separated or divided mesh pockets that really don't have there's no elastic no closure they're just kind of open but they're there to slip something into the pocket to separate from the rest of the compartment so you know use that however you will so those are your pockets and i can't remember off the top of my head how many liters this can hold i'll put it up on the screen later when i can check but the thing i mentioned earlier about having two extra places to connect um, the saddlebags is something that's pretty unique. I haven't seen with other bags is underneath your saddlebag you have this loop and This was so helpful you can take the clip for the harness and slide it through that loop and then clip it where the harness is supposed to connect and what this does is it gives an extra place of, I guess, uh, security for the saddlebag so that if it's, you know, cinched tight, but not too tight, obviously, to the dog, um, the saddlebag is not going to flip up and jostle around on her back. I really like that. And, you know, getting to test that out in practice, it was really cool how, you know, she jumped over something and okay, come on. those saddlebags barely moved. They didn't slide around. Having that loop that connects to the actual clip here uh, was fantastic. Just held it in place, kept it close to her body, and really kept her from, um, you know, getting snagged or caught on things, which would be probably terrifying if I were a dog and all of a sudden a tree grabs me by part of my backpack. Uh, anyway, that's the gist of the features. Um, a few closing things about why I love having the removable saddlebag design is obviously on our trip that we took, Nora was able to take a rest and, you know, we all love to take our pack off when we're taking uh, a rest, even if it's just 10 to 15 minutes to, you know, get the pack off of you and just kind of air out and stretch out. And that's what I was able to do for her. I still had her harness on, um, still was able to keep her attached to her leash when needed, but um, I was able to just kind of toss the, the saddlebags aside and she could stretch out and roll over in the dirt, whatever she wanted to do without having these big poofy things uh, hindering her. And then when we're ready to go again, just she stands back up, we clip it on, it takes like a minute and a half, and then I get my bag on, we're going again. Um, so there really wasn't much hassle getting everything clipped back up and moving on down the trail again. Another thing um, I'm looking forward to trying out with her or even Barrett is what I'm going to call base camp backpacking. So we'll hike into camp somewhere a couple miles and then just kind of set up camp and do some spur hikes and whatever while still having camp to come back to. And we won't really need to worry about taking the saddlebags. We'll just carry our stuff out initially and wear only the harness. And then we can kind of take just the essentials in my pack when we go out for the day. It's pretty versatile. Um, and I'm not really thrilled about having a backpack where the saddlebags are attached. And if we're not gonna be utilizing that space, it has to be you know, attached to the dog, even though it's kind of useless. I'd rather have something like this where we can take it or leave it. The one thing that is, I guess you can consider a criticism and it does have uh, a positive side to it. But the one thing I found a little bit frustrating was how difficult it was to um, actually adjust the straps to fitting Nora. So it's not like a pull the straps and then it adjusts. 
you have to take the length of the strap and kind of, I hope I'm explaining this right, feed it through the back and then the front. And it did take some time to get this fitted just right to Nora, but the good side to that with having such um, difficult to adjust straps is it's not gonna slide when she's walking and it's not going to come undone or uh, loosen on accident. It's going to stay where it is unless I, you know, go through the process of loosening or tightening it how I want. Now, when I saw it on AliExpress, it was by a seller or brand called Brother Cat Dog. Um, and when I purchased this pack on Amazon, it came with the branding brother cat dog so um obviously it just came from the same manufacturer or warehouse i'm assuming in china and uh under a different seller name on amazon so i guess the product's the same uh whether you get it from aliexpress or amazon but yeah that was just a little side note i might do a follow-up we'll just see after we do some more trips with this harness um but overall i've just got great things to say about it and I'll leave the link to it below, both the AliExpress and I guess the Amazon links to where you can find it. Comes in three colors, purple, red, and blue. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. There's also a Patreon page now, so if you really wanna show your support, uh, go on over there and even just check it out. There's some cool benefits uh, and content there for supporters only. But I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope to see you again next time. Tracing my footsteps through the wind.